What's inside Mars? That's the question a new mission from NASA is hoping to answer when it lands on the red planet later today. InSight aims to find out how warm and geologically active Mars really is. So while other Mars probes look for water or signs of life, this one is quite different. The key question is to um, explore the interior of another Earth-like planet other than the Earth. Uh, and, or another rocky planet, and those are rocky planets other than the Earth, in order to be able to compare that planet, you know, with the Earth. So it's a comparison that we're aiming at. That comparison is what's fascinating scientists. Researcher Lou Pan from the University of Lyon says we really don't know much about what's beneath the surface. We do have some guesses from our understanding of the Earth's interior. We think Mars, as a terrestrial planet, it formed uh, more or less the same way as the Earth. So we think it has a core, a mantle, and a crust. And from um, we know that Earth's outer liquid core is the reason we have a magnetic field. And because we don't observe this magnetic field on Mars, we think probably it doesn't have a liquid outer core. InSight should land on a sandy area of Mars, where the German instrument on board will take readings on heat flux down up to five meters below the surface. It's not actually a trill, it's a penetrator. It's a, it's a, it's a check hammer, so to speak. You know, it, it has a hammering mechanism in its interior, and it's not rotating like a trill, but it's hammering straight down and into uh, the interior to a depth of uh, uh, hopefully five meters. First, though, InSight has to get there. It's notoriously difficult to touch down on Mars, and many missions have failed. Only NASA has so far managed to carry out a controlled entry, descent and landing, and fingers are crossed that they can do it again this time. So that landing is crucial. Once they've managed to touch down safely, they can start to put the instruments in place and really begin to study the interior of Mars. Jeremy Wilkes, Euronews. Well, let's stay uh, with that uh, Mars mission. The astronomer Francisco Diego joins me now uh, from London. Good morning, Mr. Diego. Thank you for joining us on the Good program. Good morning. Uh, we spoke on Friday about a British uh, mission to Mars to try and understand whether there had been life uh, on Mars, what that might look at. What about this NASA mission? What is this one trying to, to find out for us? Well, for the first time, we are looking at Mars in a different way. Uh, there are three different experiments on board of this uh, amazing, uh, very simple and cheap relatively uh, uh, lander, who is, is, which is going to, to measure earthquakes or earthquakes uh, uh, to a, an enormous level of precision. Uh, this uh, instrument can detect uh, quakes produced by meteorite impacts. Uh, which is shaking Mars in a minute way. It's extremely sensitive. When they was testing it here in Europe, they could detect the waves crashing on the beach, which was uh, hundreds of kilometers away. That kind of sensitivity, number one. Number two is this probe that is going to go five meters deep to measure the heat flow from Mars to find out how Mars is releasing the heat and finding out more about this core that is if it is liquid or not, we just heard now. And the third one is the movement of Mars. The axis of Mars may be wobbling, and the way it wobbles, it's telling us the interior part of, the, of, of Mars, if it has a, a, a solid core or a liquid core or an outer core. And this wobble is being measured by accurate precision of um, uh, pinpoint the precision of the position of this lander on the surface of Mars. Fascinating, and, and Mr. amazing things. And Mr. Diego, very, very briefly, uh, what might all of this data collection tell us about our own uh, rocky planet, about Earth? Uh, the formation of rocky planets is very important. Of course, we live on one of them. Mars and the Earth are very similar, although Mars has much smaller mass, less gravity and less uh, atmosphere density. The atmosphere of Mars is about 1% of the atmosphere we have here. But knowing about the composition of Mars, the internal structure of Mars, we will know about how these planets form and we will know more about the formation